Oh man, so these folks done ruined BT. Eat Earthers. Eat Earthers. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know, saltines. The ruined BT put the value in the ground. And then people that understand and looked at the books and seen the actual price, like Tyler Perry, he's seen them, the numbers for BT. And he don't want to pay above a certain amount. But they don't care. They still want to at least, I guess, um, at least whatever. They want to be a certain amount. But Tyler Perry, like, I'm not paying no more than $2 billion. But they didn't ruin the value. And since then, they like, man, it don't even make sense for us to sell the company because it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect our bottom line. So they decided to end the auction for BT because Tyler Perry saying, I'm not raising my bid. He won the bid at two billion. Everyone else is looking in like, it ain't worth more than that. I ain't paying more than that because the risk of it. It's a lot of risk even going into it. So let's get into the details of this, man. This is crazy. These are teens at it again. According to the New York Post, Tyler Perry refused to raise his $2 billion bid for the company after Paramount insisted on him buying it for $3 billion. After months of roadblock, Paramount decided to keep the network for themselves. We made the decision because of the benefits of maintaining a majority stake in the BET Media Group creates more value for Paramount than any of the proposals we received. A source close to Paramount told the Post. So as of now, there are now there will be no new ownership of BET. Tyler Perry still owns a 25% stake in the BET Plus streaming service, though. They said a sale wouldn't result in any meaningful deleveraging of his balance sheet. So yes, yeah, so I got much more of the same. Um, they buried the company. They crashed and burned BT, and they trying to sell it to get get up out of hands. The bidders realized this shit ain't profitable. These motherfuckers trying to you know pull one on us, and they like nah, nope, 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 nope. They're not doing it. They're not. They're not trying to take that burden off of their hands unless they you know realize we took the L, sell the company, and cut your losses and move on like that. See, Paramount was trying to keep maintain a small um portion once they sold the majority they was gonna keep a small stake while someone else ran or whatever because just in case they did pop it all get it right back popping they still was gonna have some type of control over it but um i'm glad these dudes didn't fold didn't fold for this but it is what it is y'all let me know what y'all think about this in, in the um, comment section below i guess tyler perry never fully i thought he actually i thought it was a stun deal the reports were that but I guess he made the bid and everyone else reported that we ain't buying it for more than that. So people then ran off with reports that he actually won. But it is what it is. I guess not. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Those your boy Stacy. Yo.